Just like they prepare that animal for, for death, the Most High is going to prepare death. The Most High is going to prepare death for our oppressor. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. We're supposed to rule this earth. And we are in no position right now to rule. We have to turn back to the, we have to cleanse, cleanse ourselves. Shed ourselves of this, this, uh, uh, of this mentality, American mentality. Our oppressor's mentality. Take off that, that garment and put on the garment of the Most High. And, and then, only then, will we be actually worthy enough to stand before him and rule this world. Because right now, we cannot do it. We, all we have to do is actually turn back to the Most High, prove to him that we can be on top. Once we prove to him that we can be on top, there won't be no more trials like for, for Derek Chauvin. There will be no more trials for, for both of John's killers. There will be no more trials for, for, um, for, for uh, uh, Philando Castillo's killers. There will be no, no more of that because none of that will happen. We will not have to go and answer to them. If we're riding down the street, they will, there will be no reason for them to pull us over. There will be no reason for them to kick down any of our doors. There will be no reason for that, to, for them to uh, uh, go in and shoot us while we're sitting on the couch eating ice cream. There will be no reason for, for, for a no-knock warrant for them to kick in our door and shoot us in our sleep. There'll be there'll be no reason for that because they will be on the bottom. That's that's what that's what's gonna happen. Keep going. Verse four. I will lay thy city's waste. He will lay thy city's waste. Even though this is called Chocolate City, this really ain't our city. This ain't our arrest. We are in captivity. Cities like this, cities like Miami and New York and Chicago, even though we live there. It's still our captivity. We don't own really nothing. This is this is this is not our rest. The Most High says He's going to lay His cities to what? Waste. He's going to lay His cities to waste. Our oppressive cities to waste. Cities like this will not stand for long. And it's not going to be something that we do. It's going to be done by the by the will and, and the power of the Most High. All we have to do is get right and get back to the Most High. Right. All we have to do is cleanse ourselves and show ourselves approved, and we'll be back on top. That's right. Then cities like this won't be gentrified. Places where we congregate won't be gentrified, won't be over-policed. We won't have to march in the streets saying uh, 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 Black Lives Matter, have begging for the people who kill us to, 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 to make them realize that we actually matter, that our lives matter. There won't be no need for that because we won't be on top. If anybody wags their, uh, their tongue at us wrong, they should just tie a bowler to their, to their neck and, and, and take a long walk <laughs> off a short cliff. Right. Let them drown, according to the scripture. That's what Christ said. But we cannot, we cannot be in that season. We cannot be in, in that until we actually get right. Keep going. And thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt be desolate. Y'all, our oppressor, as strong as he is right now, 
as high and mighty as he is right now, they will be on the bottom. They can't, they can't even see it. They rule so much. Their will is so absolute that they believe they can go to other, other planets. They believe that they can set up uh, uh, a military force to fight whatever is going on in space. They think that they can bring Star Wars to life and Star Trek to life and go and out and, and conquer other planets. This is, this is how strong that their belief in themselves are. Meanwhile, the people who are actually supposed to intend to rule the world, the people on this side, so-called Black, Spanish, and Native Americans, all we care about is the next paycheck. All we care about is how we going to get, the, how we going to spend this stimmy. All we care about is is is, is living paycheck to paycheck. How are we gonna how are we gonna get to, to, to the how are we gonna get to the next week so we so we can get paid and feed our family? How are we gonna pay this rent? How are we gonna pay this uh, uh this, this this car note? Or how how am I gonna get this car fare so I can go back to work? I got three jobs. I need every single last one of them, all the hours I can get, just so I can put food on the table. That's not how the way the Most High created us. The Most High created us to be on top. The Most High created right. us so that we can actually uh, live in abundance. Right. And it's not where it is not uh, some arbitrary place that we've learned during slavery that we we only get that well if we're good now and then we die later. Right. And then once we die, we, we go to that place. That's not what the scripture says. The scripture says that this earth is made for us. This earth is made for, for the Most High. It is, the, the Most High made this earth for us, so-called Black Spanish and Native Americans. And the reason why we not on top is because we ain't showing that we should be on top. Keep reading. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord God, I'm sorry. That I am the Lord. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Even though we see that our oppressor is on top and, and nobody is standing really in his way. Not even other oppressors. Other nations really are not standing in, in this nation's way. They are so high and mighty that they don't believe that they can be brought down to their knees. They are so high and mighty that they don't believe that there's anybody any people, any being, any force that can actually stop them. That's why when it actually does happen, you're gonna know it's the Most High. Just like Egypt. The Most High destroyed Egypt way back when. So much so that it's only a tourist spot now. They, Egypt used to be the most powerful nation on this, on this earth. But the Most High said, most I said, because you oppress the children of Israel, you will be destroyed. And now they're just nothing but a tourist spot now. No one wants to go there and live there and work. They just want, they just want to go and visit and, and, and visit the places that made them great that we did. We're the ones that built up that nation. We're the ones that built that, those pyramids. You take away the pyramids and all those archaeology away. No one wants to go there. It's going to be like Sudan. That's what it's going to be like. No one, no one wants to go there. Who, who wants to go to, to Darfur? You know what I'm saying? No one wants to go there. That's because we are the ones that built that place up, that stood the test of time. How many millennia ago that, that it happened, that, that we were there and actually built those, the, those, those, those uh, artifacts and, and, and those buildings? How long ago has it been? And, and Really, they cannot recreate what we did back then. There's so much stuff that the Most High put on us that proves to the world who we are. Only difference is we don't really believe who we are. The Most High says it time and time again, who we are. And the Most High is the one who's put us in this captivity and put this oppressor up on us so that we can realize who the power is. So that we can realize how he will be on top. 
how he will be, how, how the world will be put back together again. Read that scripture from the top, one more time. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 3. Verse 4. I will lie, lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel. From the womb, we were warned. The scripture says there was two nations in, 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 in the belly. We were warned, we were beefing back then. Thou hast had a perpetual hatred for us. And the only, reason, only way that we can get some get back is if we turn to the Most High. The Most High is the only one that they can get some get back for us. They have had a they have hated us from the beginning of time. All we did was serve them. All we did was build for them. All we did was 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 suckle their children. All we did was build their empire. And yet they still hate us. And the reason why is because they have always hated. They there was never a love for us from these people, from our oppressor. They have hated us from the since the beginning of time. Read that from the top. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and shed our blood. They're the ones who, 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 who killed us. They're the ones who put their knee on our necks. They're the ones who, who still shot when we said hey, we got our hands up. Don't shoot us. They're the ones who spilled our blood. They're the ones who choked us out for selling cigarettes. Who gets choked out for selling cigarettes? I got to die because I'm selling, what, $20 worth of merchandise? Are you serious? I got, I got to die. This is how our oppressor treats us. It's illegal. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be smoking in the first place. But it's not, it, the, the, the penalty outweighs the, 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 the crime. We should not die because we're selling cigarettes. We're because we're selling CDs. We should not die because you think we're, we're, uh, we're, we're stealing orange juice. A 16 year old was killed, shot in the back of her head because the store owner, the Asian store owner, thought she was stealing a dollar 99 juice. When the juice was sitting right there in front of her. Y'all remember that? If y'all remember that, the LA riots, the Watts riots was stopped because of that. Why, why we gotta die for, for, for this foolishness? The Most High says, it shows us that they have had a perpetual hatred for us. It has never been the other way around. Matter of fact, we love them even though they shot us in the back of the head. We love them even though we were in our own home eating ice cream and killed us on our couch. We're going over there combing, combing her hair after, after she uh, got her sentence. We're going over there giving, after she got the, uh, that devil, Amber Geiger, got her prison sentence, the judge stepped down from, from her high chair and actually gave her a hug and then went back and got her, her own personal Bible. So that, so that she can have some solace, some comfort while she's serving out her, her prison sentence. How many times has she thrown that judge, how many times has, she, has some of our people, people who are black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, been and sitting in front of her and, and, and pleading for some mercy? How many times did she throw the book at us? How many times did she say, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for what has happened to you, let me at least ease the sentence and give you my personal Bible. How many times has that happened? That only happened when an oppressor was in front of her and she felt sorry for him. We are so destroyed that when we are in positions of power, that we, when we can actually uh, uh, have show some mercy for our people, we are so destroyed that we throw the book at them, that we actually, you know, give them harsher sentences that we actually, uh, so, so, and we do that to show our oppressor that I'm not like them. I'm just like you. I'm not like them. I will give you, uh, uh, I will give these people 
a harder prison sentence because I'm just like you. Don't don't lump me in with them. That's how destroyed we are. You you can even see it on the on the job. One of us gets promoted to middle management or something like that, and we are harder on our own brothers and sisters. Knowing what we go through just to show our oppressor that we ain't like them. We shouldn't be like them. We shouldn't be like them. The Most High showed us that they have had a hatred for us when all we did was love them. While they were whipping our backs, while they were chasing us down while we were trying to escape and cut our feet off, while they, while, while they cut our hamstring so that we can't run from, from slavery. Why, how, how, how we refuse to give our women to them because that's our woman. We still love them through all of that. We still love them through all the oppression. Why? They, they deserve no love from us, nothing. We need to turn our back to them just like they turn their, their back to us. Not because they turn their back to us, but because the Most High is telling us we need to turn to ourselves. This is what we need to do. Keep going. And they shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time of their calamity. And in the time of our calamity. In the time that we were actually, you know, down and out. In the time that we that we were actually destroyed, they they killed us. At the time when when, when we actually were trying to get ourselves together. They are trying to, they are trying to uh, uh, destroy us. And it, it is easy for them because they have been doing it for, for centuries. They have been doing this, this evil, this wickedness for centuries. So much so that whenever, keep going. At the time that the iniquity had an end, therefore as I live, said, therefore as I live, said the Most High, the Lord God, I will prepare thee to blood. He said he is going to prepare our oppressor to blood. That means that means if anybody has ever been to a, a slaughterhouse and, and they're about to slaughter a, a cow or a lamb or a chicken, they prepare that animal for, for death. Just like they prepared, that butcher prepares that animal. Hey, back Just like they prepare that animal, just like they prepare that animal for death. Just like they prepare that animal for, for death. The Most High is going to prepare death. The Most High is going to prepare death, to prepare death for our oppression. Yo, back up! Back up! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck slavery! Stop! Back up! Back up! Bitch! How about that? I don't let you go in. Jay Sparks Eats. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper told it, I'm number two. Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo. Call me Tyler Warhol, or even call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.